Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you how to use a fabric. It's called Tulle, T-U-L-L-E, and you can buy it in um, your fabric stores or any kind of craft store that you know sells fabric. It's really inexpensive and this is what I use to keep the white moth away or any moth really off of your kales. If you can keep the moth from landing on your kale leaves you're not going to get the green cabbage looper, you're not going to get worms that eat holes into your plant. And of course this is very organic because you're not using any chemicals and I make these. All you do is basically make a square out of, and I'll show you another uh, angle on how to build this. All you do is you make a square or a rectangle out of the tool and you use duct tape to create edges. Put in three sticks, I'm obviously doing this in a container. You could do this in the ground of course. You might need to make a bigger uh, rectangle or square. And you can make a couple different sizes. So as your, your um, kales grow or your collards grow, you can just you know, change out your rectangle or your square. So you just drop it over. The reason you use the duct tape is because it creates some nice weight to it and this will keep the wind from blowing away. And I just use these little clips you can buy at Staples or any kind of supply store. Walmart too has them in their aisle. And you just clip it down just like that. And this will work quite effectively to keep moths off of your leaves. This way you don't get the green cabbage looper. If you were going to do this in the ground, you could just move your post over and clip right to that. And this will keep the wind from blowing it off. And again, this fabric is tool and it has lots of tiny holes in there that will let water in, that will let sunlight in, but it'll keep the moths and, and a lot of insects really off of your plants. So how you make it is you just go pick up some of the fabric. It comes in a, uh, it's three foot wide and you buy it by the yard and it's really inexpensive. And again, just go to any fabric store or craft store. They usually have this. And all you do is take the duct tape. This is not even perfect. You make a square or rectangle, whatever size you need, and just put the duct tape down. This, again, is a nice way to make it heavy so that when it's sitting on your plant, it, the wind won't blow it up. And it's also a nice way to set up your, your first square. So once you put the duct tape down, you can just cut on the outer part of it and then that is your fabric square that you're going to use for your kale or your collards. Now, the one trick is because the tool has holes in it, just fold it over just like that and after you cut it out. And then you just press it down just like that. The duct tape will stick to itself. You might have to use your nails just to rub it in. And that's how you create the edge of your tool. And you can make your fabric different sizes so as your plants grow you can drop them on just like that. That will keep the moths off your plant. That will keep the worms off your leaves and you just change it up as your plant grows. Hope you enjoyed the video and this gives you an idea of a great way to really keep the moths off of your kales and collards. You can even use this for broccoli, cauliflower, all kinds of different plants. Oh, one more tip. This will only last about a season because the sun will degrade the fabric. If you want to get some uh, titanium oxide, which is basically sunscreen, a high-end sunscreen, a spray, spray this, let it dry before you put it on the plant. The titanium oxide will help this last maybe two seasons. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.